Hey everybody, it's Greg Becky here, and in this video I'm going to take you behind the scenes and we're going to do a comparison of the Nikon D850 and the Canon 5D Mark IV. All right, first up is the Nikon D850 with the Nikon 105 f1.4 lens. Now here's a quick look at my strobe setup. I was shooting with the Godox AD600 Pro with the 36-inch Westcott Rapid Box XL with two layers of diffusion. It's 36 inches in diameter, about 90 centimeters, and it's about three to four feet from the model, 45 degrees and down. Now you can see I'm putting a CTO gel in there. There's another video on my channel about that. It allows you to get bluer skies and bluer water. I'll put a link to that video down just below this video. So I took a few shots with the CTO gel and I put my white balance to 4200 in camera and you can see the sky and the water is a little more blue. It's just a trick you can do if you're shooting in RAW. Now next up is Josh and he was shooting with natural light with the Canon 5D Mark IV. And you can see he's using the gold side of a reflector right here. And he didn't send me his camera data, but he was probably shooting at a shutter speed close to mine, probably about 8,000. And then he's going to turn this around and he's going to use white in a second just to get a different look. So you can use gold or white. That's the Westcott 5-in-1 reflector. And the first series of shots, he was using the gold side. Now you can see he's using the white side. You can also use that as a diffuser as well. And here's another shot with white as a fill. For the second part of this shoot, we moved down about 30 feet. And again, I'm shooting with the Nikon D850 with the Nikon 105 f1.4. And all of these images you see in this video, I shot at f1.4. Now again, my strobe setup is the Godox 8600 Pro in high-speed sync mode with the Westcott 36-inch Rapid Box XL with two layers of diffusion. So one thing I could suggest is to move your light around. Make sure you get some different lighting patterns. So try broad lighting, try short lighting, try butterfly lighting really work your scene, move around a bit. You can see we moved about 20 feet and we've got a whole different look to our images. And the sun's going down here, so my shutter speed was lower. It was at 640 for this series of shots. It was pretty much about an hour before sunset. So the first series I was shooting at about 8,000. These ones were closer to 640 and my ISO stayed the same at 64. You can see here's another image here. One thing too is make sure that your strobe isn't too high so you have that catch light in the eyes. That makes a big difference. So up next is Josh. Again, he's shooting natural light with the Canon 5D Mark IV. A little bit more challenging to shoot natural light, but it had gone down below the trees, so he didn't need a reflector for fill in this case. So give me some feedback. I looked at these images on my computer. I would have thought I would have seen a bigger difference with the Nikon over the Canon. Sure, Josh processed these a little warmer than I did. Maybe he did less retouching. But overall, when I looked at these images, I thought I would have seen a bigger difference with the Nikon over the Canon. So I suggest... If you're already a Canon shooter, if you have a lot of Canon lenses, I wouldn't worry about switching to Nikon. I'd stick with Canon. I think if you're shooting portraits, it's really a fine camera. Did you see a difference? Let me know in the comments below. Hey, it's Greg Beck to here again. And if you found this video helpful and you'd like to see more content like this, just give me a thumbs up for this video. So like this video. Also, if you have any comments about the video, if you preferred the Canon over the Nikon, just post those comments down below. Now, before you go, a couple of things. You can also find me on Instagram. Here's my Instagram right here. It's at Craig Becta. You can also find me at Twitter, at Craig Becta. And you can also follow me on my Facebook page as well. Now, also, if you're not already a subscriber to this channel, just click on subscribe. I put out new videos every week. Click on subscribe and hit that bell notification and you'll be notified of future updates as well as when I go on live streams. All right, thanks again for watching this video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and give me your feedback. What did you think? Did you see a difference between the Canon or the Nikon? Let me know by putting a little comment down below. All right, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.